Hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9. Yes, we're not on the tripod today and you'll notice there's all kinds of bits of fun debris all over the uh, workbench. Some of you will even recognise this component with all this gump of um, CCD sensors. Which are, I think, are Sony ones. This one even goes right through to the die under this optical um, fibre optic coupling and then this. It was from the image intensified um, camera I took apart whoa, five years ago I did the video because I actually looked it up to actually look up details on this thing. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. But yeah, here's the type. Handle numbers and all that jazz. As well as the number on the tube itself. It was housed in silicon. This is what remains of the um, photo, not photo multiplier, the um, voltage multiplier. <laughs> I keep getting those two. Oh shit, I've left my soldering iron on for hours. Whoops. Whoops. Uh, never mind. It's not the first time I've burnt out elements in them. But yeah, it has this um, voltage multiplier circuit, capacitor, resistor and transformer. And I've basically, this whole video is basically going over the reverse engineering process of it. Let me just get the focus of the camera correct so you guys can see what's going on. Yeah, that looks about right. Sorry for the lack of tripods, but this sort of um, video does not lend itself well to tripods. <coughs> so what we have here is the red and brown wires on the connector. Which... they go straight into the transformer primary. The secondary is the yellow and orange wires, one of which goes all the way up here and connects straight to the um, lens end of the tube or the positive ends of the tube, which is here, this bit of metal here, but this only has two contacts as this tube, so I don't even know what generation it is, because I think they got about Gen 3, maybe 4 now. But also it tailors off a whole load of other parts. And then the other side, which is the yellow, goes straight into the voltage multiplier circuit, which goes all the way up here. Also another part of it links back round, so this is basically paralleled to the uh, transformer, so that makes that part. But what I suspect this part of the circuit is for is as well as creating a voltage potential difference between these two points, because that's how these voltage multipliers work, is you've got the um, green and black which go to the PCB, and they basically um, are paralleled across a 0.46 mega ohm resistor which I suspect they're using as a voltage divider so they can do some v feedback on the output voltage so they can basically tailor the voltage of this perfectly. It looks like a precision resistor as well because it has all the um, fancy colour blants. I'm not going to get the macro lens out and show you because that's across the room and that would require walking. Then we have, and then that basically goes into the negative end of the tube, or the viewing end, which is the end. Both ends have a fibre optic cluster, which seems to be built into the tube, so I'm not even going to attempt removing them, because I don't want to damage the tube. And then we have a capacitor, which I'm guessing is just to do with the feedback power part of the circuit, or maybe it's part of like noise filtration because although it goes through the resistor which is a weird way to do noise filtration but it's either something to do with the um, voltage divider of this which would actually make sense <laughs> or it's to do with noise filtration which yeah these sorts of circuits are going to be noisy so it could hold double duty but the capacitor looks like this, the giant blue thing. I wasn't sure what the hell it was. A part number of MHV10 slash 001 GJ. And it's made in 96, 1996, 44 week. This is from an old bit of military tech. 
the tube, I don't know if I've shown this, has a part number on it. Uh, the sticker that was on it got destroyed with the silicon, sadly, so and went up the hoover. So, Hetty ate that, so we will never know what that says. 0016201. So, yeah. Any help identifying this tube and the voltage requirements and whatnot would be greatly appreciated. Because so far I've come up with zippity doo -dah. Which is quite annoying, and it would sit this way round in the, um, this would be the top. And so that uh, basically acts as a voltage feedback and all that good jabs. But yeah, um, driving this seems roughly too complicated. So what I'm thinking of is I could delete this whole section of the circuitry here and basically hook one part of the uh, multiplier straight to the uh, positive end down the bottom and then the other part up to the top here like it is in this topology and then just hook instead of a transformer down here use a CFL driver from an old laptop display to actually power it because you know Reverse engineering and figuring out exactly what this circuit does, it's going to be an absolute pain. Because this is one of those bazillion layer boards. In fact, this one might be specifically... Oh no, 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 you look at that. Hang on, let's get the focus right. You might be able to see the light coming through. Yeah, they're all coming in on internal layers. So yeah, this is at least a three layer board. So yeah... <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to figure that out. That's just more effort than it's worth. When I can just hook a um, CFL driver to this, and then we'll get a whole load of voltage off of that. We might even be able to get a way of um, removing this circuit entirely and just doing the voltage, the um, by the. Uh, backlight inverter straight to the tube I just need to figure out what's the sort of average voltage these tubes take is it in the range of the low kilovolts which in case I can which means I can do that if it's in the case of the higher kilovolts like I've seen uh, seen mentioned with some tubes where up to 10 kilovolts around about this little cluster of diodes and capacitors will be very much needed and in fact interestingly I can't show you this but the diodes have a voltage drop of almost 2 volts across them. Which is bizarre, I've never seen a diode like it. So I have no clue what <laughs> what type of diodes these are. They're like some magical whiz-bang thing from Utopia Land that I've never heard of or seen before. So I might even have to build my own custom <laughs> voltage multiplier circuit because the one that comes with it is no good. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, what I'm thinking is I'm going to do it like that and just delete this stuff because this all just seems completely unnecessary. But yeah, that basically sums up what I'm trying to do with this um, photo multiplier tube. I will link the video in the uh, bottom that links to what this actually is from basically a mil military image intensified camera that can swap to visible light probably for a targeting system or something but <clears throat> that's its own video that I did five years ago that you can watch if you choose after this it's quite a long video because I went into quite in depth of the teardown I think I even took this part apart so you could see the sensor itself actually there's no um, glass cover on the die like there is with this one so yeah Thanks for watching, hope you found that interesting, and this will at least encompass part of my Easter weekend.